Department tracks guns. Both shootings and homicides were down here last year, and the police department has become a national model for gun violence intelligence. Local 12's Deb Dixon shows us why. The ATF task force started collecting shell casings from shooting scenes here in 2015 for a ballistic imaging system in D.C. Now Cincinnati has its own, NIBIN, National Integrated Ballistic Information Network. Other cities have NIBIN, but other cities don't work it like Cincinnati does. The crime fighting tool gets some of the credit for last year's drop in shootings and homicides. It's the technology, it's the absolute focus on the timely collection of getting those shell casings, getting them entered within a 24 to 48 hour window, getting a quick time turnaround from ATF and then immediate follow up on those individuals that we can identify as suspects in these crimes. Task force members assigned to the new Nibin office use a high-speed camera with magnifying lens to enter shell casing images into Nibin. All those little marks everywhere, that's the fingerprint it leaves and they'll match it up to the other crime scenes. The images are uploaded to ATF and compared with other crime scenes across the country. We have shooting offenses from Columbus, Indiana, Lincoln Heights out in the county, other areas that are matching our shooting offenses and shooting incidents in the city. The crime scene connection leads to the few people doing most of the shootings. The undercover agents in the unit focus on them. It's a laser focus. I may not be able to put those individuals in possession of a gun pulling the trigger in front of District 5, but now I know there's a connection. In July, when someone stood here and fired shots into the police station on Ludlow Avenue, the casings left behind were entered into Nibin. 18 hours later, there were suspects. The gun used on Ludlow Avenue came back as a match to three other shootings linked to three men. All were charged with other gun crimes, not the police station shooting. When we start delving down and, and, and doing our intelligence and our investigation, we have reason to believe that they are definitely involved. I may not put a, a shooting charge on you, but I'm going to get you off the street one way or another. Nibin solved the shootings that shattered windows in the Great American Tower after shell casings from the freeway drive-by matched the gun used by Sean Harold in a Reading Road gun battle. He pleaded guilty to federal charges for the tower shooting. He's off the streets for nine years. With high-tech ballistic intelligence, gunmen can no longer shoot, run away, and get away with a crime. Those days are over. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. From local